All right, Rob, thank you. Welcome to the home of the defending national champion and number one Connecticut Huskies. Campbell Pavilion is jumping indeed. The New England rivalry is back. The Friars of Providence come down the road via the bus ride for this matchup tonight. Playing against the team in black. So, Brando, would you like to do the lineups? Go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here are the starting lineups sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. Pierre, Devin Carter, boy, he is something special. Floyd, along with the outstanding play of Gaines and Oduro, the transfer. Tristan Newton could be player of the year. Stefan Castle coming of age. Cam Spencer, the tremendous transfer from Rutgers. Hopkins went down on the third with that ACL tear. And the opening tap is controlled. That one to go. It's a different shot from the baseline with the jump hook than it is in the middle of the paint. Spencer with the teardrop, and it's 2 0 Huskies. Klingon doesn't want to go down and help right away, but you're going to have to help on Carter. I don't care who's guarding him in a white uniform. Castle. Now that's the young man that probably has a higher ceiling for. There he is again, right there in the painted area. He'll search and find the lane. Smart. All the Gen Z's on that. <laughs> The dream shake was actually what they called the move. Something yeah. tells me I had a couple more than you, Tim. Yeah, indeed. You're catching up. There's the work on the offensive glass for Caravan. And that ends. Not over the years, they know who they are. They, they're not trying to be UConn. They, they are playing within themselves already. Newton with a nice pump fake. Takes it in. Count it. And a foul. Just two points in the last six minutes before that one. It's going to be tough for number one tonight. We've seen a lot of young guards go shoot that floater when they see help coming. Yeah. That was the right play. Caravan with a beautiful ball fake to get past Castro and the deuce. And he comes down gingerly on his ankle. Looks like he turned that right ankle as he hit the deck and he is in pain. Well, that's where you want to see ticket gains if you're Providence. Take a charge. He was in position. And then decided, I, I don't want to take the contact. Let me jump in the air. It's like he's trying to walk it off, but I don't know that he will. Take a look here. So the swing comes, and then for a second, in your right side of your screen, and then he moves his feet, Gaines. you got to stand in, give your body up. And Caravan, take a look. Right there, turns that right ankle. Look at that overplay and a lazy pass. Samson Johnson slams it home. And, and that'll get the crowd involved. And it adds to what UConn does. You won't see Donovan Klingon doing that. Yeah. Well made it his mind, didn't he? He was going to launch that time. Just too much playing around with the basketball. Oh, yeah. And Newton finds Castle, who went to the top of the castle right there. And the Huskies with nine points from the freshman have now moved to within one. Duty and seven now in the game for Floyd. And Devin Carter attracts so much attention. You have to respect his drive, but guys have to be ready with their hands up, ready to shoot it. Newton. A little mano a mano between those two guards. For three. Hello. How do you do? What does he bring? Great instincts. It's just, it's just such a, a, a high basketball IQ. Spencer from downtown. Two threes in a row for UConn. It took long enough. But once they start going through, look out. And that'll do it for half number one. They trailed most of the way. But managed through their own defensive effort to pull ahead 29 to 28. But for Providence, keeping it close, even with Oduro sitting the last 638, I think that's a win. Yeah. You? On the road in this building, this crowd, number one team in the country, I think Kim English will take this going into half. We're going to take you to Rob Stone in Los Angeles along with the sharpshooting Casey Jacobson. The Chief Halftime Report right after this. Bella.
comes up dry to open the second half. And he could be thinking Oduro has three fouls as well. Yeah. Klingon, nice handoff there on that drive. Tristan Newton shoveling it in there, and it's the bounce through the course of the year. Nothing different for him tonight, number 14 in black. Two and a half minutes gone by. Flyers up by three. And a three ball is rattled home by Kessel. Got to do it. Now, he's really struggled from downtown this year. Maybe that's ominous. Kessel was looking for the dribble handoff. No one really looking towards the basket. Oh. Castle. Now there's an answer for you. Stefan knocks it down, and we had a whistle to go with it. Let's see what this is. Good round today. We need to be efficient. We need to make the right decisions. 26 total fouls, three technicals in our game tonight. Castle goes crossover, count it, and a foul. Such versatility and dexterity in that young man's game. That's four on Castro. Timmy, I, I, I heard games called when I'm just a spectator at home. They were calling him Stephen Castle. I think they know his name by now. Yeah. <laughs> and if they don't, they, they will after this game. It is Steph <laughs> Castle. Right at you to the chest of Castro. Boy, Khan is right there with them. Well, as the game has gotten, as coaches would say, mucked up, it's an 11 2 run, very quietly, an 11 2 run here for Connecticut. And this guy's the reason, really. Castle, look at him. Nothing you can do with him. He's taking the game over. He has. 44 36, largest lead of the night. For the Huskies. That was a slow evolving play. You get that because the guards are staying out. They're playing the perimeter. No bigs to protect inside the paint. The more disjointed this game is, the longer Providence hangs in. Caravan off the line. Counted on a foul. That's a great interior pass to your center, <laughs> Alex Caravan. <laughs> Again, he's the long has to do the same thing at the other end. Give their big a chance to now put Oduro in the same spot he was in on D. Castle, haven't heard from him in a moment or two. He dominated the first five minutes of the second half. Rejected here. Well, he stayed with it, though. Out to Caravan for the three. Oduro battles for it. No whistle. And the putback by Klingon. Really nice job by both bigs. Timeout coming. English wanted a timeout. Or at least I thought he did. He certainly was giving a timeout signal. Coming down to cases. Even Carter has been snuffed out. Newton being checked by Floyd. All the way. And one, and one as Floyd picks it up. I mean, you, you, you just can't allow Tristan Newton to get to that right hand he, the entire way. And they called this on the floor. Oh, they did, and Hurley can't believe it. I think this is the next stage for college basketball. Yeah. And ones, he was in. He didn't put the ball down again, and he was in his mode of taking off to the basket. I thought that was a no-brainer as an yeah. add one. Well, they're talking about it. They are discussing it, and now they give it to him. Yeah. It's the right call. And, and Kim English a bit perplexed, and you can understand why. But I agree with you. This should have been an and one. Foul there. Yeah. Through the free throw shooting storm. It's, a, it's an ugly one for the road team. Little run and jump at Newton or Duro with the four fouls. Bold move. Klingon is rejected. Beautiful work. Boy, Oduro gave his all defensively there on the show in this half. 20.7 boards.
all told. But you got to get a stop if you're Providence. You're running out of time here. It's it's right there for you, but UConn is doing a nice job of just kind of meandering through the defense. And sure gets the roll. It's the best way to describe it. They, like Spencer just meandered. Nice work defensively. Well, that was Jalen Stewart that got a piece of that. And now on the other end, a coronation for the kid from Seattle. The championship DNA. Tell you, that was such a hard-fought game. That was one of the grittiest, toughest games I've seen in, in a long time, Tim. I, I want to thank Kyle Wu, Brian, don't call me Spielberg, Biederman, our director. <laughs>